Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. O is a quarter circle with radii OA and OB. Pick C along OB and pick D along the arc AB such that CDA is a 90 degree right angle. If CD is equal to 7 and DA is equal to 24, what is the length of OC equal to? I thank MOAS for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two solutions to this problem. The first solution involves a reflected quarter circle. Reflect the quarter circle O about OB. Label the image of A as A prime. Notice that angle D is a 90 degree inscribed angle in circle O. Therefore, the two chords from D will subtend a 180 degree arc. In other words, if we extend DC to be a chord of the circle O, it will meet all the way at the diameter. So C will connect all the way to A prime. Now construct AC. ADC is a right triangle with legs of 7 and 24. So we can solve for its hypotenuse using the square root of 7 squared plus 24 squared or we could just remember the triple 7, 24, 25. Now, what is the length of A prime C? It's a reflected image of AC, so it will be congruent to AC. Therefore, A prime C will also be equal to 25. Now let the radius of the circle be equal to R. Then consider the right triangle ADA prime. One leg is equal to 24, and the other leg is equal to 7 plus 25, which is equal to 32, and the hypotenuse is equal to 2r. Therefore, we have 24 squared plus 32 squared is equal to the quantity 2r squared. We can simplify this equation and solve for the positive value of r to get that r is equal to 20. So the radius of circle O is equal to 20. We'll substitute that in. Finally, let's focus on the triangle AOC. We can solve for OC because it will be equal to the square root of 25 squared minus 20 squared. This is equal to 15. We could also notice this is a scaled up 3, 4, 5 right triangle. But the answer is that OC is equal to 15. And that's one way to solve the problem. Now on to solution 2 that involves a cyclic quadrilateral. Let's start from this part of the diagram. Notice that angle D plus angle O, each of them is equal to 90 degrees, and their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. In the quadrilateral AOCD, two of these opposite angles have a sum equal to 180 degrees, therefore AOCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. This means we can use Ptolemy's theorem. The product of the diagonals of the quadrilateral will be equal to the sum of the product of opposite sides. Let's construct OD, which is a radius of circle O. It will also have a length equal to R. Now let OC be equal to X, and let's substitute into Ptolemy's theorem. We have 25 multiplied by R is equal to R multiplied by 7 plus X multiplied by 24. This simplifies to be the following equation. 25r is equal to 7r plus 24x. We can solve this equation for r. 18r is equal to 24x, which means r is equal to 4x over 3. Let's substitute that value in. From here, we will again focus on triangle AOC, which is a right triangle. We have x squared plus the quantity 4x over 3 squared is equal to 25 squared. We can simplify this equation and carefully solve for x. We need x to be a non-negative value, so we'll take the positive square root and get that x is equal to 15. So that's one more way to solve the problem. 
What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.